Hey, what's up guys? John here. The new 2024 tax code is out. The IRS is setting new tax brackets for 2024. The agency changing the income tax brackets for the 2024 tax year to account for inflation. And everyone needs to pay very, very close attention to this because it's going to rewrite capitalism in America. When you're looking at what they're doing, how they're planning on collecting, it's really shocking. It's frightening, really. They're using chat bots and chat JPT like integrations, AI. AI could help the IRS collect billions of dollars in taxes and catch those who fail to pay. Looking for similarities and patterns in your spending, in your business, in your lifestyle to try to extract as much capital and tax out of you as possible. I believe having a great accountant in 2024 and 2025 will be one of the greatest investments you can possibly make. So really, really look into an accountant if you have a business that you know possibly could raise red flags, pay very close attention to this. I'm gonna break it down for you, I'm gonna show you the facts. Please hit the like button, when you hit the like button, YouTube will share this content to educate the people. Well, it's really happening in America, in the new normal, and if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for what I think is gonna be the greatest wealth transfer of all time. It started in 2020, it's been ramping up over the last couple of years, now, things are about to get real. 2024, 2025, we're gonna see a fire sale of assets, I believe. So if you need help fixing your credit, we'd love to help you if you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com, click the link in the description just below this video, schedule a free strategy session. Take a look at this. So from chatbots to audits, how the IRS will use AI this tax season. The IRS has plans to increase its use of AI. Here's how the agency will do it and what it could mean for taxpayers. As part of the IRS efforts to increase enforcements for wealthy taxpayers, the agency is implementing the use of artificial intelligence to identify possible violations of high income tax returns. Now they say it's for wealthy taxpayers, but I don't think you believe that. I certainly don't. I believe they're gonna be doing this from a mass market perspective. Wealthy taxpayers have tight and strong legal teams. Everything is buttoned up. When you have the everyday American, when they get an audit or a piece of, uh, you know, piece of mail from the IRS saying you owe us 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, are they gonna hire an accountant to go after them and, and try to you know, go through everything? Or are they just gonna write the check for 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks? I believe they're just gonna write the check, right? And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna start seeing a lot more of the middle class starting to get these letters, I believe, in 2024. Uh, we will start to see patterns and trends and activity that we can link with tax evasion that we couldn't previously. So they go on to say that they're gonna be using the AI to crack down on so-called wealthy tax cheats. But here's how this works. This is the new breakdown. If you make, let's just say for easy math, $75,000 per year, 75,000 per year, you would fit here 22%. Right? Even if, if you make 11000 a year, you still have to pay 10% tax. I mean, that's crazy. But 22% tax, $75,000 a year. That's if you live in Florida, if you live in one of these locations, you know, you live in Florida, Texas, Tennessee, South Dakota, Wyoming, Nevada, right? If you live in one of these areas, then sure, it would just be the 22%. But if you, and it would look like this, just to break this down to make it very simple and easy, $75,000 a year, the income tax bill, $16,500. So the net monthly income after taxes would be $4,875, right? And let's say you're renting $1,500. You have uh, utilities and Wi-Fi, about $150 combined. Cell phone, $100. Gas, $50 per week, right? $200 per month. Uh, car payment, $729, which is, believe it or not, the average car payment in America, right? $729. Then you have a car payment, right? Car insurance, for $150, which is extremely cheap. Uh, credit card, say $300, monthly payment. Student loans, $460, which is the average right here, $460. Then you have uh, food, 50 bucks a week. I don't know how one would, or $125 per week. I don't know how one would be able to live on $125 per week at the grocery store anymore. If you go through a Chick-fil-A drive-thru or a McDonald's drive-thru, it's $15 or $20, right? You have to eat a couple times a day. So, I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the week, you'd be spending much more than $125 per week, right? But if you added all of those total expenses up, it's $4,100. That's if you live in one of those six states. But if you live in any other state, let's say even for example, Alabama, which is rel relatively uh, in low tax base, 5%, you would still owe, right? You'd still have to pay Alabama $312 a month. So you would save at the end of the month, if you lived in Alabama, $533. If you didn't, you lived in one of those other six states with 0% taxes, it'd be 775 per month is what you would save, 
right? $775. That's if the cost of living does not continue to rise. And that's considering making $75,000 a year, right? $75,000 a year. And that's also, you're not buying any clothes, you're not going on any vacations, you're not eating out, you're not doing anything. You're saving, you know, 700 bucks a month, 800 bucks a month. So you start to look at what this is gonna mean. It's gonna mean this AI is going to, I believe, start cracking down a lot of small businesses, a lot of PP loans, a lot of the stimulus. They're gonna start cracking down on everything from the last couple of years. And what I think is gonna likely happen is we're gonna start seeing a lot of people have a lot of tax problems. That's what I think is gonna happen. When you look at where household debt and credit report this credit report is that it's, it's pretty shocking. So now we just hit the highest debt level in American history. And this just came out, right? So household debt, right, is the 17.29 trillion led by mortgage, credit card, and student loan balances. Total household debt rose by 1.3% to reach 17.29 trillion in the third quarter of 2023, according to the latest quarterly report on household debt and credit. Mortgage balances increased to 12.14 trillion, credit card balances 1.08 trillion, student loan balances 1.6 trillion, auto loan balances increased to 1.6 trillion, including upward trajectory seen since 2011, right? Right after the GFC. Other balances, which include retail credit cards and other consumer loans were effectively flat at 0.53 trillion. Delinquency transition rates increased for most debt types except for student loans. Well, because student loans are paused. But when you look at this, credit card defaults were at 9.5% 9, 9 in the eve of 2008, right before the GFC. Guess what they are right now? 9.4, right? 9.4%. We're basically there. So when you're looking at this, you're like, okay, well, consumers, they look like they're gonna be in trouble, and the IRS looks like they're gonna really start ramping up collections. What is happening with the auto loan crisis? Where are the everyday American consumers with their vehicles? Well, Cox Automotive, a leading auto organization, predicts that 1.5 million cars will be repossessed this year. It's 300,000 300, more cars than in 2022. So the big question is, if that's what they're predicting this year, what would they be predicting next year when all these student loans begin to kick in? Right, Because many people are not paying close attention to the student loan crisis. This is a massive, massive problem. The average person in America, two out of three Americans don't have $400. And if the average payment every month is $460, it's going to mean millions and millions and millions will not be able to pay. They won't be able to pay. And so what does that mean? After 90 days, it goes on their credit report is delinquent. So if it started October 1st, coming January 1st, which will be the 90 day period, you're gonna see millions and millions and millions of people having these late payments and charge offs and all these different issues that have occurred during the holiday season all start to hit their credit report. And so when you're looking at all these problems added up, what we're gonna likely walk into is a liquidity crunch, a credit crunch, and a tax crisis that is gonna be sweeping through America. If you look at the need money chart, right? Just as Google Trends starting from 2004, and you look at this, this move that just started happening, even more so the last year, it's really starting to pick up. People are really starting to you know, look for ways in which they can get access to liquidity and access to money. Credit card balances set another record, Q3 of 2023. American total credit card rose again during the third quarter of 2023 to an all-time record of $1 trillion, $80 billion, according to a report recently released by the Fed. These balances have soared an incredible 40% since the first quarter of 2021. Now, here's my suggestion. If you're looking at all this, what I would believe is the way to look at this is an opportunity, really. It's an opportunity to speak to an accountant, to invest your money well, to have the right write-offs, to have the right structure, everything in place now to get in ahead of this, to get in front of this problem. Because what you don't wanna do is what everybody else does. What everybody else does, they ignore the problem until it becomes a real, real big issue. If you face it head on, you're gonna be able to get in front of the problems. So what I think is gonna happen is, as I mentioned before, a liquidity crisis, credit's gonna tighten up, you're gonna want access to money. You're gonna to wanna to be able to have the right write-off. So getting a really, really good accountant now would probably be you know, time well spent and money well spent. Having your credit score in line, 740, 750, 760 and above, probably a very, very good idea to do that. Getting out of high interest rate consumer credit card debt, a very wise idea. Putting yourself in a position to where if you were a bank, you would wanna lend you money is probably a very smart thing to do. Because when we walk into 2024 and 2025, a lot of people are not gonna be prepared for it. And what do people do when they walk into a crisis? They panic, they make emotional decisions and they sell. 
And that's what I think we're going to walk into. I think we're going to walk into a situation where a lot of people, a lot of small businesses are going to be forced to sell off assets. And you, as an investor and entrepreneur, you're going to want to be out there you know, picking up assets and putting yourself in a stronger position to build a mode of safety around yourself and your family in some very uncertain times. What do you think about this situation? You think we're walking into a scenario where we're going to see massive audits and we're going to start to see a whole different type of American capitalism? Drop below. We'll have a conversation about it. And if you want to fix your credit, we'd love to help you. love to give you a free consultation on my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link below in the description. Schedule a free call. And I'll see you next time.